ear off because of the sound. And that was really, that was, uh, I'm glad that scene's over with. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was, that was a difficult scene. Now, you also have um, uh, the scene, the, the love scene, it's a takeoff on Ghost, I right, guess. Right, that's right, yeah, um, the pottery scene. Yeah, yeah. I, I've seen that in the trailers and right. the advertisements. Was that a pretty dirty scene to do? <laughs> well, you know, the funny thing is, again, you see the scenes, you go, how, how do we pull that off? Because, uh, you know, it seems like a very serious scene, you know, Leslie and I are there and very involved, but in the corner of my eye, you know, I kept seeing about ten guys there with a hand full of clay, all ready, you know, to just give it to us. So, you know, we, we kept rehearsing a little bit, and we could only do it one time, because by the time, you know, you're, we did on the Saturday, you have to go wash up, clean up, so we knew we had to do it in the first take. Mm -hmm. But all these guys were just waiting with smiles on their faces, you know, just waiting to throw it at us, and that was the, uh, you know, the payoff, I guess you'd say. And you got it in one take? We had it in one take, yes. Of course, there, you know, there were a couple doing it before us as, uh, as I guess you'd say, the guinea pigs. But yeah. uh, And you have to try not to anticipate somebody throwing clay and hitting you upside your head. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you said it. Because usually when you're making love, you're not thinking, someone's going to hit me. <laughs> yeah, yeah trying to make it look real interesting and you know, having fun and really into the scene and knowing that they're going to splatter you all over the place, you know. Yeah. But uh, it, was, it, was a, it was fun. It was, a, it was fun doing the movie. It was great. You know, you, you've very successfully overcome the stigma of just being Elvis's wife. Mm -hmm. You know, I even mentioned it in the intro, I, I mentioned it, uh, and, and you've done Dallas and you've done the movies and everything, but was it hard? Um, sure, I think, you know, it's hard for anyone when they're all, always identified with someone else, not just, you know, I mean, you know, daughters and, and sons of famous people. You know, you're always identified with that person. And there's this person inside you, you know, that's saying, hey, you know, I'm somebody too, and I can do things too, you know, and, and uh, especially someone as big as him, you know, I mean, he's, yeah. he's, he's known all over the world. Yeah. So, you know, slowly but surely, you know, it's happening, and I feel good about it. Uh, in Two and a Half, there is a sight gag that they stuck in. I don't know if they would have put that in if you were not in the movie, but are you familiar with what I'm talking about? I am, about? yes, yes. Yeah, I don't want to give it away. Yeah. But, but if you watch very carefully, <laughs> there's an Elvis sight gag in the right. movie. Now, does that kind of stuff make you uncomfortable? No, no, they actually, they would have put that in, knowing the Zookers, they would have put that in whether it was me playing Jane Spencer or not. I or Bo Derek. Yeah, yeah, really, or Bo Derek. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> but uh, they, um, I would have put that in, and, and uh, it's just, you know, they like to do spoofs, and, and they kind of, you know, they watch the news, and if you, if you think about it, it's there all the time, and they, they're just playing off with that. Yeah. How's your daughter? She's doing great, thanks. She's doing real well. Yeah, uh, her name is Lisa, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, columnist Liz Smith out of New York, I think, uh, printed recently that your daughter was going to act in a movie with Vanilla Ice. Right. When is that going to happen? <laughs> That's not happening. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to say. No, that, that uh, was totally false. And uh, I really don't know how it all came about. But uh, it was just an error. And uh, it's not happening. So um, I don't know. I don't know what Vanilla's going to do now. But maybe, <laughs> maybe he'll find someone out there to play with him. What's Liz Smith going to do now? <laughs> oh! Does she still oh. have a column? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I think she still has yeah. a column. Uh, I won't believe anything she writes again. Uh, <laughs> We're all used to that, aren't we? Yeah, and that's a legitimate paper. I mean, that's yeah, not like a that's tabloid sad. or something. Yeah, I know. No excuses. Yeah. Right. Um, what else? Your grandmother, I'm sure that would surprise them. Do you think so? It's been all over. I don't think it's a surprise anymore. And just looking at you surprised. I mean, I, even if, if I saw the baby, I'd look yeah. and say, no. <laughs> I know. We all have our images of uh, what grandmothers look like. But I'm having a great time with, with my little granddaughter and my son. You know, my son's four, mm -hmm. and she's two. So um, they have, they're being raised like brother and sister. So it's kind of a unique, unique you know, experience to, to be, you know, still young and having young kids and grandkids. Did you get your son's name from the movie, The Guns of... No, actually, it's, a, it's an island off of Sicily, mm -hmm. uh, Navarone. Might be the same. Is that The is Guns of same? Navarone, mm -hmm. is that about that island, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's but it cool wasn't name. from that movie. It was from the island, It's a actually. very cool name. Yeah, I, think I mean, so. it's a macho name. It is a macho name. And you see this little guy, you know, he really is a, a Navarone. So, you know, he goes around, he, believe it or not, he carries guns, you know. From the time he was a year and a half, he always had to have his guns, and he never saw the movie. Yeah. He went from guns to swords, and uh, now he's into bow and arrows. So uh, he's, he's pretty macho. Yeah. Just like you. 
Well, <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm kind of a late night wuss. Oh, are I think. you? <laughs> I, I'm the new sensitive man. Oh, don't disappoint me. Is that what it is now, the new yeah. sensitive New era. Okay. Uh, thanks for coming by. Oh, thank you. And continued success. I hope this movie does well, and I hope it makes you guys laugh. It's called The Naked Gun Two and a Half. This is Priscilla Presley. Thank you.